Hello beautiful souls, it is day 7 of my 30 day video challenge and yeah today I'm feeling pretty good. I've done all of my my top lines, so appreciation practice in the morning followed by my yoga and my meditation, all went really well. Today I also did, it was Wednesday, so I did the Foundation for Personal Growth meetup which was really good, you'll see a little snippet of that now yeah i suppose that uh, we don't you know um the winston church the um the longest hour it's not make a wake up thing that is not always good and today as well something i wanted to talk about briefly was how i feel a little bit jaded in my spirituality so I had my spiritual awakening around about my first proper spiritual or spiritual awakening was 2014 when I read a book called, well, it was two books. It was Delors Canon. No, the first one was a play, a, the Pleiadian Agenda, a new cosmology for the age of light, which really shattered my mind and my ego and expanded my consciousness. And then another book, which was The Free Waves of Volunteers and The New Earth by Dolores Cannon, which also shattered my mind and expanded my consciousness. I then went on a journey of continuing to expand my consciousness with just constantly absorbing spiritual information, primarily through the means of like uh, channeled information so it was mainly, I was mainly listening to channelers, Brad Johnson, who channels Adronis, Bashar, Abraham Hicks, uh, Daniel Scranton, Rob Goffier, um, oh, who else? Many. Bar Barbara Masiniak, um, God, loads of different ones. But really I focused on a select few and I went through phases of, phases of each one as well. <clears throat> but what I did was I was just, it was like I was thirsty. I was continually awakening myself. I was continually expanding what I needed to learn or what I felt I needed to learn. And it was like a daily thing. So from like 2014, 2015, I continued studying <clears throat> almost every single day. I would be at least listening to one video or listening or watching something about spirituality that was coming from a channeled context. And then in 2020, or it was very, the, very before even COVID happened, it was like, it was actually really at the end of 2019, I, noticed I just didn't feel excited anymore about studying spirituality and or like listening to this channeled information so much. And I noticed the reason why was because I had just, I had learned so much that by this time, I was even venturing out to different, to learn from different sources, different channelers and different spiritual teachers but I wasn't really learning much new nothing that was really like earth shattering to me or mind bending there was nothing new that really was expanding my consciousness like it used to and I don't mean this in an arrogant way at all But it was through that experience I, I realized perhaps I've learned all that I need to be learning right now. Perhaps I can just go ahead and live my life and maybe start giving back some of this information. More so than I have been. Because I'd always known since 2015 that I would be creating videos. And perhaps even creating courses and coaching people. And look what I'm doing right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm creating videos. 
I'm actually creating courses around spiritual topics and how self-help. And actually, I'm, I'm, I'm coaching people as well and have been really, I've been, I've been offering coaching and I've been doing coaching since last year, but it's actually starting to pick up more now. So it's all come into alignment anyway. <laughs> but yeah, jaded in my spirituality. And all I really mean by that is, for example, along these years where I have been learning so much, always constantly absorbing like a sponge every single day, all these new topics and understandings. I noticed I was often sharing little snippets on my social media, especially Facebook. I would share like a little quote. people loved it it was really great and then of course during this past kind of year year and a half two years this window where I kind of stopped I kind of stopped sharing those little snippets so much because I just wasn't watching the same content I wasn't getting inspired to to come up with these kind of quotes And so that's why I feel a little bit jaded, perhaps. It's like, I was sharing these great things, these great little snippets of content that people really loved. And then all of a sudden, it just I just kind of stopped because it's almost like I, I was using the impetus of the moment, like that knowledge was fresh to me in the moment. It was like, wow, that was fresh and awesome. So I shared it as and when it came, but now it's, I want to be, well. But I also understand that repetition is the best teacher, or certainly one of the best teachers. And what I would love to be doing is going back over all of the stuff that I've learned over these years and the stuff that I really resonate with the most and just share it more. I have a, I have a catalogue of all of these quotes that I've actually shared over the years and all these little snippets and things that I've written down in a, in a doc. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start sharing more of them again. But this time, instead of just little snippets and quotes, there'll be little short videos and things like that. So, jaded in my spirituality. Jaded because I feel like, for now, perhaps I've learned all I need to learn. That's, that's not true though. There's always more to learn and I know that. Really, I feel jaded because I'm on a little break. I'm on a little hiatus right now from constant learning and instead I'm just being I'm just in that state now where I'm aligning to that one ultimately one of the most consistent consistently taught and consistently practiced spiritual teachings which is just that the state of being the art of being and just abiding in the self and just practicing non-doing practicing complete and total surrender to the divine will. Pure alignment to the source within me. Pure alignment with my heart's calling in every single moment. As Bashar would say, acting on your highest excitement in every given moment to the best of your ability without insisting on a specific outcome. That's what I'm doing and have been doing for a while. And it works. It's working for me. Anyway, that's all I have to share today. It was my feeling jaded in my spiritual growth. but also understanding that 
I will never regress in my spiritual development. I will never regress along my spiritual path. I am always expanding. It just may not look that way because it doesn't look the same way that it used to over two years ago to me. Infinite love to you all. Super big blessings to everyone. Ciao now, until next time.